Welcome to a lecture on Advanced Manufacturing Technology. This lecture is based on the KTU syllabus and let's see what are all in this lecture. So today we will be learning the module 6. Module 6. And the topics we will be learning today is Diamond Tent Mechanism, Abrasive Flow Machining and Magnetic Abrasive Finishing. So without ado, let's dive deep into the course. Diamond turn machining. From the figure, you can figure it out what it will be. Here, the turning is done with the help of a diamond tool. The machinery is similar to the lathe, but the main difference you can see is a vacuum check. The lathe machines which you have seen will be having three jaw checks, four jaw checks, but here there is a vacuum check. The advantage of vacuum check over the three jaw or four jaw checks are that it doesn't make grips over the workpiece and so the workpiece remains intent free and the diamond tool you know the diamond is the hardest substance available on the earth and its tip can be made super fine and this help the machining to be very precise this diamond tan machining is mainly used in the field of optics Various lenses, uh, various precision glasses are made using the diamond tin machining. So that's all about diamond tin machining. Now let's see what is abrasive flow machining. The word abrasive means little little hard parts. Here you can see I have, I have highlighting, I am highlighting the abrasive parts here. And flow means to make it move and machining means to remove the mate material. So here the abrasive particles are suspended in a media and this media is moved inside a workpiece and these abrasive parts rubs with the workpiece and it removes the material from it. In this figure the, you can see the second figure. The second figure there are two sets of piston one is on the top and other is on the bottom portion. So let this be the piston 1 and this be the piston 2. So what happens is when piston 1 goes up piston 2 also goes up. So entire media inside it moves up and similarly the piston 1 goes down piston 2 also comes down. So entire media comes down. So the abrasive particle which is suspended inside the media will rub on the workpiece and remove some particles from it. So this piston 1 arrangement and piston 2 arrangement are connected to workpiece. So these are two different parts. This one part and this is another part. These two parts are docked with the workpiece. The workpiece will be somewhat of the shape of a what you can say a cylindrical ring. And the machine surface will be the internal side. So you can see the magnified view of this portion here here this is the workpiece and you can see this blue thing blue part is the carrier medium and the abrasive particles are suspended in the carrier medium and when the movement of this medium take place these abrasive particles rubs with the workpiece and small chips are formed very very small material removal happens here so that's all about abrasive flow machining now let's see a magnetic abrasive finishing. In the previous case we didn't had any control over the abrasive particles but here there will be a control over the abrasive particles. Look at this figure. Here we have a tool and a workpiece. Here the tool is made the north pole and the workpiece is made south pole. This figure is magnified here. So let's see here. Here the north pole is made the tool and workpiece is made the south pole. So you know suppose this is the north pole and this is the south pole. There will be magnetic field lines emerging from the north to south like this. And the direction will be like this. So similar thing happens here. The magnetic field lines emerges from the north pole to south pole. You can see I have marked this as small small lines. And what happens is the abrasive particles will align with the magnetic field 
and form a flexible magnetic abrasive brush so this flexible magnetic abrasive brush does the machining here so let's see the whole figure here the tool post will start rotating when this start rotating this brush also will start rotating and when a feed is given and we can set the direction in which the tool has to move and this magnetic brush will do the machining process here this can be similarly used in machining the cylindrical parts suppose we can suppose we have got a cylindrical workpiece like this and we have to machine it so we can keep a north pole here and a south pole here so it will have the magnetic field lines like this and suppose we suspend some abrasive material here the abrasive material will be some ferromagnetic substance plus abrasive materials so in order that ferromagnetic um, particles will particularly align with the magnetic field and help the alignation more comfortable so um, this magnetic field will make the abrasive particle align in both sides of the workpiece and the workpiece is rotated so when the workpiece is rotated due to the due to the abrasive particles the machining parts from machining take parts on the outer surface of the cylinder so that is the whole working of magnetic abrasive finishing thank you all for listening